though she showcased her vocals in Broadway sensations like Hamilton and Into the Woods, now Tony nominee Philippa Sue has written a children's book. Piper Chen sings, follows a little girl as she overcomes nerves to take center stage. Philippa is with us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, good to see you. Thank you for having me. This is such a cute book. Thank you. I love it. It's 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 got a message too. So Piper sings to the moon. She sings to the sun. She sings to everything. I am picturing as I'm reading this. Philippa, as a little girl, yes. doing this. Was this something that you did? Well, it's very, the character of Piper is very much inspired by a younger version of me, though she is her own character in her own right. Yeah. But it's been really joyful creating this story with my co-author, Maris Pasquale Doran. We've had the most amazing time writing this book, and we finally get to see it come to fruition, comes out tomorrow. Oh, it's so exciting. I, everyone that comes here and who has a book always says it's like having a child, like when you finally let it a is. book out. Yes, it's very vulnerable because you've yeah. crafted it, you've had the audience in mind for so long and then yes. they finally get to have it and it's it's quite a precious moment yeah so I love the, the idea of this too it's so she's a little girl she deals with butterflies yes so she has a little bit of stage fright mm -hmm. is this something that you ever experienced oh yeah I mean I had stage fright as a kid for yeah. sure and and no learned... one would believe that now oh, well, you listen, know? <laughs> I sometimes still get stage fright okay yeah. I know I do this for my profession but you know I when butterflies we were, are a real thing they're a real thing and when we were crafting this story as much as we wanted it to to be about a little girl overcoming her nervous jitters. It really is a book about mindfulness, a yeah. book about being aware of your own emotions, how we can actually hold two emotions at once. Yes. And ultimately, when we're aware of our emotions, we can feel empowered to move forward with whatever that means, whether yeah. you're going for it, whether you decide you want to step back and take a boundary, you know, but, but for Piper herself, she is able to acknowledge her feelings and overcome these nervous jitters. It's about changing your the way that you think about these feelings that you're having and as a kid you don't know how to process those things which makes so much sense that you collaborate with your sister-in-law who is a psychotherapist yes exactly how did you guys you know decide you wanted to do this together well we were both very passionate about children's literature Maris has two boys of her own Hudson and Nolan and you know, great names they were they're great <laughs> names. they were very much our first critics of the book <laughs> of course um, Hudson has his displayed on his special shelf <laughs> which is really awesome to see as his aunt but um, you know we we were passionate about an idea about a little girl, an Asian American girl. We wanted to tell a story that could be useful as a tool yeah. for adults and kids alike. We wanted it yeah, to be joyful. Because the adults are very often reading it to the kids, so it's good for yes, them Yes, and mindfulness is good for everyone, no matter what age yes, you're agreed. at. But ultimately, we just wanted it to be a book that kids would grab again and again. The Pictures are beautiful. They Chang are. Lang drew the illustrations, and we're so grateful that we had her on board. The creative process was just so seamless, and it was just a dream. Yeah. So now it's out, and we can all enjoy it. Just on, on, a, on a different note, you were recently on um, a, a podcast, Busy Phillips podcast. I was. And you're talking about Hamilton, and that kind of like the the famous gasp at the end of the show. Sure. And everyone's always wondering, like, what is she thinking in that moment? Like that inhale. Did you know it was going to cause such a stir? I I didn't know. I mean, people are an analyze this. Yeah, gas. everybody wants to know, and I guess that's the beauty of art because you make it so that you can put it out into the world and people can interpret it for yeah. themselves. And that's what we're doing with this book. We really hope that people take it and they run with it and they formulate their own ideas about their own emotional awareness because they've read Piper Chen Sings. Yeah, and you also um, recently, you wrote an afterword for a book about Eliza. Yes, yeah. Um, it, which is also, that's character, not, it's a real person, but is inspiring future generations. What, do you, what is that legacy? mean to you to have taken on that role? Oh gosh, I'm honored. I mean, it's so meaningful. She changed my life forever. Yeah. And you know, in more so than true. just artistic <laughs> ways, I'm just inspired by her legacy and what she did, especially for young people. And I think, you know, it's no wonder that now we're promoting this children's book because her power with, especially with young people, she started the first public orphanage in New York City, yes. the first private orphanage in New York City. So, you know, hats off to her because now we're just able to pay it forward and carry on in our own way. Yeah, and now you're inspiring young and old. I hope so. Philippa, with all that you do, and Piper Chen Sings is out tomorrow, and catch Philippa at 7 tonight at the 92nd Street Y and April 23rd at 7.30 p.m. at the Drama Bookshop. So good to see you. Thanks so you much. You too. Thanks yeah. for having me.